Hey guys, welcome to a bit of a different video today. We're going to be looking at the potential signings for real life Derby County for the next season. These are basically players that have been linked by the newspapers, which are very few. There's only about four or five of them. So the majority of these are ones that I've found off forums that people actually want and um, some that I personally think we could actually get. So the first one's Richie Delight. This was from, I think, the Derby Evening Telegraph or something. Him and another player from Leicester have been linked to the club. Now, he is a very good player. He did work quite well with uh, Middlesbrough um, after January, I think, the first half of the season, played for Leicester. And I think he could have actually got two um, winner's medals, like he could have got a Premier League and a Championship one. But nevertheless, he's 26, probably about 27 now. Obviously, when these ages are coming out, it's uh, the start of this year, not the start of this season, if you know what I mean. But anyway, Richard, I think he'd be a solid signing. Do we really need him? With Christie in the team, I'm not too sure. Going on to the next one then, it is Grant Hantley. He was linked, I think, quite a while back. I think in like March, April kind of time. Um, so maybe this one's died down. He is a very good centre, about 23 years old. Comparing him to our current choices with the likes of... Um, obviously, Shot and Pierce and Buxton probably leaving the club. If we replace those three with someone solid like Grant Hanley, who can actually compete with Keo and Shackle for that centre-back position. That'll be something quite good. So, going on to the next one now, Jeffrey Schlupp. This one, this one is one that I think could potentially happen because he's 22 years old, probably 23, 24 now. And if we are going to play a 4-4-2, he can play either at that left-back position or in the left-mid position. And um, I think he's quite, he was quite important to Pearson's plans when he did play at Leicester is quite a key player in that team and uh, he still does play but I don't know if Leicester will want them next uh, want him next season when they're in Champions League and uh, stuff like that next one is Adam Clayton from Middlesbrough this is one I also think we could potentially get you look like last season um, Bradley Johnson for example got promoted but I don't think the team wanted him so potentially the same could happen with Adam Clayton I'd absolutely love him as I don't know I don't know if he except the role has been the backup to Thorne but in an ideal world that's what I want from him he can do a very similar job obviously very good passing ability and uh, also can fill in the central midfield position so we'd have to see in either a Johnson or a Butterfield potentially go in the other direction or just leave the club in general but he'd be an absolutely insane signing another one is Liam Bridcut. Sunderland probably don't want him they loaned him out from uh, January till the end of the season did a decent job at Leeds like he is just a player that will win the ball off players not the best at going forwards but I don't really want that I just want a solid CDM and uh, Bridcott would do that quite nicely on to the next one then this is another one linked by the newspapers this is Matty James from Leicester I think he was out injured for quite a while and uh, didn't really take, uh, take part in their title winning side so I doubt that they'll still want him at the club so another one that we could potentially get 24 years old now um, and yeah, he was quite important in Pearson's plans at Leicester. So if we are going to be moving towards his style of play, then a play like this would be quite nice. On to the next one then. This is Oliver Norwood. I just looked at some players that were good in the championships this season. And um, yeah, he ticked a lot of boxes. I think he got like the fifth most assists and stuff like that. Very good tackling. Very good all-rounded plays. He's is, is very similar to um, Jeff Hendrick. I don't really see him as a holder midfielder. But he could potentially play the job, but it's more like a Bradley Johnson in terms of you don't really want him playing holding midfielder. On to the next one then, it is Alan Judge. This is another player I really want at the club. Can play out wide, but I see him more as a central player. So you'd have to like think, would he get in front of Bryson and stuff like that? That's the kind of role that I'd want him to play. He did get the most assists in the championship this season. Would be quite expensive. Um, but I think, I can't remember if his contract's got one year left now. That's potentially a thing that is happening. So we could get him on the cheap and he might actually want to go up in his football level. He doesn't want to stick at Brentford for the rest of his career. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I've just backed out there. But nevertheless, we're going to go on to the next player now. And that is going to be Sesen Young. I think his contract has expired. So we could get him on a free. Whether we do want to take that risk on a player who is 31 years old. I know we did it with Darren Bent didn't quite pay off I don't think he's really had the best of seasons but he didn't really have the best of game time and um Sesson Young still a very good player dropping down to the championship it just might be what he needs and um if we can get him on some cheap wages he might be quite good 
Another one from West Brom is Victor and each be another player expired contract and um, yeah he's, he's kind of similar to Chrissy Martin he can hold up the ball he's not the best finisher in the world though so you'd kind of need a player to play off him and uh, he just holds up the ball I'm not too sure about this one but it was one that was in the in the newspapers another one is Jordan Ayew from Aston Villa I don't re I'd see him more of as a winger do we really need another winger with the amount of wingers we currently have probably not so we'd have to see someone go um, obviously, we had po quite a positive window with Aston Villa last year with uh, both Darren Bent and Vyman coming into the club. Very good round of play. Only 23, 24 years old now. Um, and yeah, he didn't really have the best of seasons at Aston Villa. Next one now, Ross McCormack. This hasn't been linked anywhere, but if you want the best striker in the championship, Ross McCormack is your man. Now, you're probably going to have to pay a good, I don't know, 8 to 10 million for him. Is it worth it? Probably, because he probably would get you promotion. If we bought Ross McCormack and a good holding midfielder, I could see us walking this league. It's as simple as that. Next one's Naki Wells. Now, the reason for this, we did quite a bit of business with Huddersfield last year. And um, I feel like he's the player that we kind of need as the impact man. We, we play Chris Martin. If we are going to continue to play in the same system, play Chris Martin, then bring Naki Wells off the bench, which Darren Bent probably should have done. Um, a bit more but he didn't really have the opportunity and his pace isn't quite there like it used to be and Naki Wells I think he got 14 or 15 goals this season so uh, only a little bit behind Chrissy Martin so they're the players there's not that many like you could take a few away straight away like an each be um, that were linked on the newspapers and probably not going to happen and um, Ross McCormack is it going to realistically happen probably not you never know though in football we bought um, Butterfield and Johnson, both the best players at Huddersfield and Norwich last season. So could we take Fulham's best player? That would be the ideal window in my opinion. If we could get Ross McCormack and um, like a Matty James and uh, potentially a centre-back as well instead of all the uh, options that we currently have. So make sure you do leave some comments down below on who you think we should sign as well. I, I want these to be realistic. Don't go say, oh yeah, I want um, Andre Gray from Burnley because he's not going to come down from the Premier League to the Championship. So, yeah, I, I just tried to think what player would actually want to move and what player could we actually physically get with the money that we probably have. So, yeah, if you want to leave a like and um, drop some comments, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and see you soon. Bye.